سبحان الله عما يشركون Really, if we were to look at the first verses that were revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we would come to understand something amazing. Surah Al-Alaq, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Iqara, that is the opening word. What does it mean? It means read. The first verse that was revealed to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was, Iqra. And the word Iqra means recite or read. I want to ask you a question and I want you to contemplate this. Nothing that Allah Azza wa Jal does and nothing that Allah reveals to the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam is by coincidence. None of that. So when Allah Azza wa Jal reveals a verse to the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam and that verse was the first verse to be revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, then definitely there is something behind that verse. There's a wisdom from behind that verse. There's a message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to contemplate from behind that first verse. So for the first word and the first verse to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was Iqra, recite. There's something for us to learn about that and something for us to contemplate. And the scholars say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants this ummah to understand the importance of what comes from behind reciting and reading and what comes behind reciting and reading is knowledge knowledge my brothers and sisters knowledge your knowledge and you seeking knowledge in islam you acquiring islamic knowledge what does that mean to you in your life is it an important aspect in your life that you want to always increase your knowledge of islam i'm not talking about any other knowledge i'm talking about your knowledge of islam your knowledge of the quran your knowledge of the Sunnah, your knowledge of Allah, your knowledge of the Hadith. Not that I'm undermining the other side of the knowledge, knowledge of engineering or accounting or medicine. That's important. But there's also something else important in your life and that's the knowledge of Islam. What does that mean to you? Is that a principle in your life? Do you as a mu'min, as a Muslim live your life and you find that every single day is an important day for you to increase your knowledge of Islam? Is that a principle in your life? Because that's the principle of the believers. Every single day is a new day and something new for them to learn. This is the principle of a mu'min. This is the principle of a believer that every single day is a new day to them for something new to learn. And if that day goes past their life and they did not acquire something new or learn something new of knowledge in their life or the knowledge of Islam in their life, they consider that day as a worthless and a waste of time day. And I'm sorry to say, how many of our days are worthless days? How many of our days and weeks and months and years that go past our lives and yet we have not even taken the next level of knowledge in our lives? That may be the most simple of things in our lives as Muslims that we must know the most necessity of knowledge as the scholars call the necessity knowledge that we need to acquire and know as Muslims yet even though we are 25, 30, 35, 40 and some of us even 50 and 60 years old yet we don't even have that knowledge in our lives maybe some of us have been praying for the last 20 and 30 years and yet they do not know Fara'id Salah people been praying maybe for years and their wudu is not even correct People have been praying for years and yet their Quran is not even correct. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Man yuridillahu bihi khayran, yufaqihu fi deen, that if Allah wants good for someone, Allah azza wa jal will increase their knowledge in Islam. So if you want to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounties upon you, if you want to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's grace and blessings upon you, see how much Allah azza wa jal opens the doors of knowledge to you. And the scholars say, and the other meaning, the other meaning is that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want good for someone, Allah does not open the doors of knowledge to them. Allah deprives him. Allah will prevent him from attending gatherings like these. How many people, subhanAllah, you find it that they want to attend, but yet Allah azza wa jalla does not give them the opportunity to attend. As the Prophet says, if Allah wants good for someone, Allah azza wa jalla 
will give them knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them the ability to acquire knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the door of knowledge to them. So if Allah doesn't want good for someone, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give them the doors of knowledge. The ummah these days, my brothers in Islam, my sisters in Islam, the ummah these days neglects seeking knowledge. The ummah these days is so poor in its seeking knowledge. The ummah these days don't want to seek knowledge, even though it's so facilitated to them. You could even seek knowledge sitting at home by listening to the lectures that's on YouTube and other Islamic websites. That in the past, the scholars will travel for months just to acquire one hadith. And what did they used to travel in? Not one like traveling in trains or cars. They used to travel on feet, on horses, on camels. That they'll go from one place to another under the hot sun in the hot desert for two months one way and two months return just to get one hadith. Well now, on your iPhone you could open and you get Bukhari in there. The Prophet says, whoever takes a path of knowledge, Allah will make an easy path for them to enter the paradise. Subhanallah, entering the paradise by seeking knowledge, yes. There's a beautiful way, one straight path, one straight path to one destination and that's the pleasure of Allah and the paradise by seeking knowledge. What does Allah Azza wa say? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevates. Elevates. Allah elevates. Those who believe from amongst you and those who learn and acquire knowledge. Allah. So the more you learn, is the higher you get with Allah. The more you learn, is the closer you get to Allah. The more you learn, is the closer you become with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. Allah has given you the opportunity. Allah Azza wa Jal is opening this door to you that you learn and you get closer to Him. You acquire knowledge and you become close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar, how beautiful is that? How beautiful is this, my brothers in Islam? That the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tells Abu Huraira that you learn one verse from the Quran Kareem better than praying hundred rak'ah. And ten verses better than praying a thousand rak'ah. Because seeking knowledge and acquiring knowledge, it's worship within itself. It's ibadah. Like the ibadah of the prayers, like the ibadah of fasting, like the ibadah of going has, like the ibadah of reading the Quran Kareem. Learning is ibadah. Learning is ibadah, is a form of ibadah, is a form of worship that you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for every verse that you learn and understand, for every hadith that you memorize and understand, for every fiqh book that you read and comprehend. This is all a form of ibadah. This is a great ibadah that the ummah had neglected. We neglect this type of ibadah. This ibadah of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to know the Lord that you are worshipping. To know the Lord that you are worshipping. Allah Azza wa Jal. The one that you believe in. The one that you stand in front of five times a day. Allah wants you to know Him more. And the way that you know Him more is by reading. By learning. By acquiring knowledge. Ibrahim College Online is bringing the classroom to you. With our live interactive courses, you can learn whatever you want. From wherever you want. Enroll online today at ibrahimcollege.org.uk It's really simple to enroll onto a course on Ibrahim College Online. Just select a course you like and click the Enroll button. Then either log in or sign up if you're a new student. When you select your course, you can watch any previous lessons as many times as you like. When you participate in a live course, you can interact with the teacher and ask questions, just like in a classroom. You can download course notes and presentations to follow along or to revise from in your own time. Islamic education has never been so easily accessible. Sign up now and start learning.